13 though. I mean, you're on your way to the two-year badge now. You know, you just got your one-year badge. You've been, you know, throwing that around a little bit in the chat, looking like a cool dude. Like, check me out. Got my one-year Wardy TV sub badge. La di da. You guys not as good as me, unless you see someone like Euphem or something. He just like shits on you with his two-year badge. But now, you know, after you know your first month for your one-year badge, you know, you start uh, bringing it up, and you start getting ready to go into. Uh, you know, your two-year badge. You, you know, you got a few months to go, like 11 months. It's a little while, but you will get there. You'll make it. You'll get there in the end. Thank you very much again for the subs. Do you appreciate as we kick this off? To the top right-hand side of the map, our green Zerg player from OSC Root. It is Demilove, my teammate right here. And down to the bottom left-hand side, the red Zerg player from Team Liquid. It is Snoot. Opening hatch gas pool um, is Demilove. It is Snoot who goes gas pool hatch, but I mean the difference is going to be a slight link speed difference. It's one of those builds that's just a bit safe from Snoot. He can be a bit more aggressive with this as well, but we shall see. What was the song called? The song that was at the end of the break was called uh, For All Time by Slum Dogs. The Slum Dogs is spelled with a Z at the end. I, I It's one of those songs that's like... So it came out in the same era of... Um, it, when you know when dubstep was like OMG dubstep OMG like oh I'm like everyone listens to dubstep right and it was this like, for me it was such a different song it's like it was on the same it was on the best of circus records with like 50 caliber bass cannon all these other like dubstep cr almost cringy dubstep songs at this point I don't know like they're still okay but it's like I don't believe I listened to them as much as I did back then but that song was so different I loved it absolutely loved it, but uh, yeah, that's my history on that. That's my phone going off because I didn't mute myself. Thank you very much for the uh, $20 donation post-Christmas trauma. I'll get around to reading your message in just a few moments time. That's what my phone was beeping to tell me. It's like PayPal has received $20. You are now rich. Feel free to travel the world <laughs> or something. But. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the $20. I'll read out your donation after this game. Because this CVZ is heating up. Snoot has not been droning. He has been making only links. So he's getting ready to be very aggressive here in the next few minutes as we're going to be seeing. Hey, Zergling, just running around. Just get taken down. Doesn't see much. Sees some saturation on the low ground too. Snoot pulling a few drones away from his main base to the natural instead. May just help to trick Demi Love. You can see that Demi Love's saturation here is pretty much the same. So he doesn't necessarily know about this link flood until these links run past this overlord right now. Now, Snooty does not have a Bane in there, so he has not invested. Does he? Yes, he does. He's just started one. Okay, that's where the gas was. I was going to say, he must have gas somewhere. So he's just started. He's not a Bane in there yet, which means he won't be able to do much of it just now. He's going to see the Zerg. He's starting to attack at the ramp. And his Queen's starting to take a little bit down. His Bane will start coming from Zenulub. I actually love it. He's made a bit of a wall with these Banes as well, so they can't be surrounded as easily. Is Snooty going to be able to kill them now? Just see when they start to morph in, right? So he should have a rough idea as to how long you can stick around for is he gets a few links through into the main base but uh, the main connections are pretty good honestly and you know most of it gets cleaned up so Snoot doesn't really do a lot here early on he's still looking at pressure though 10 more links a Bane nest about to finish he still wants to apply some of the pressure which he needs to do I mean he's 7 drones down so he has to do something here to catch back up into this game as we're going to be seeing links in the Bane moving back towards the natural expansion more Bane is coming up in the center of the map and Snoot's still gathering together with more and more units getting ready to go once again Four Banes against four Banes is going to be the count right here, so it's going to be uh, pretty even going into the next stage of this. You can still see some Zerglings moving around, looking to see where they might want to go. A couple Banes starting to run on fours then. It's, oh, Banes on Banes. Ah, what's going on? Snoot's Banes are really stacked up now, and they all go off. Four for three. Two Lings mixed in there as well. He'll clean out the last Bane of Demi Love though as well. Is he doing enough? I mean, he is now starting to draw, and he has actually caught up on the work count, so he's getting into a better position. We'll see one Ling and now two going down, and we'll continue to pressure towards the third base. I mean, now he's taking the work of lead, though, so for the income at the disadvantage he had before, he's going to start making up for that a little bit. He's also traded, well, pretty easily, so that doesn't really have much of an impact, and we're going to be seeing the rest of these veins continue to move forwards and continue to clean on out. Mozart can still collect the gather here. Third half, tree dropping down from Snoot as well down to the south side of the map. And these things are very low, coming down to the south as well. A few more Banes morphing in. Snoot now taking the work of lead, is not afraid to go back into Ling Bane, knowing that he's probably going to need to get enough up here to be able to defend. His Red Hatchery in a little bit of trouble though, he doesn't really have the units to send over there just yet, so his Red Hatch will be cancelled, losing the drone as well. And we see more of these uh, Lings continue to come on through. More Banes coming through the centre as well, some Lings from the top side. and. 
Well, looking around to see where they might go. We're gonna see one bane lane going down, the other bane lane is uh, gonna get targeted as well here at the moment. So a couple of banes getting targeted, third bane and the fourth here momentarily. As uh we're going to be seeing these uh, Lings continue to move up the right hand side. So Lings going up the right hand side. Suit still kind of manages to defend, although again he's without a third base right now. So that's a bit annoying. He doesn't have as much income as an opponent or economy potential. He just lose a few Lings to that Bailing right there on the high ground. So that's a little bit of a shame. A little bit messy there for Snooze. He has still a couple of Lings and Banes on the map. His Rotor now dropping down. He'll be the first player to begin attacking out of the Ling Bane phase of this game. As his first game gets stopped by two Zerglings, he's looking very similar with the next Bane as well. And also gets taken down pretty swiftly here. Is one Zergling going to be uh, coming through and does uh, quite decent damage. A couple of Banes and four Lings, not bad. Snoot should be fairly happy with that. Still just see the rest of these Lings. And a couple of Banes from Snoot coming back to the right. And still just keeping position on the match. Again, his Rotoron's about to finish, so he's about to get into the next stage of the game for himself. He's taken a bit of a worker lead for a little while once again. And again, for the most part, since he first took the worker lead. He's been in the lead since then, so maintaining that intern advantage. Eight roaches on the way. It's looking to be aggressive. I mean, we don't see an Evo Chamber, we don't see a Roach Roar. Uh, a less, sorry, for Roach Speed. Obviously, we see a Roach Roar, and how else would he make roaches? Um, but yeah, so it's kind of an interesting one in the sense that he's just looking to be very aggressive with these roaches. You know, he's not looking to tech up at all. Not, with that said, neither is Demilo. He also is without a uh, evil chamber he's also without a lair there's suit start up now so he's just gonna make these initial roaches attack a little bit see what he can do but honestly it's kind of the same as before like suit's just a uh, you know a small step ahead so suit's gonna pressure he's gonna force some units out but then he's already drawing it up himself so you know while he's made a few units already He's going to once again take the work elite. So it's again, Snoot getting to better positions here, I would say, early on. Too much Ling Bane, though, for Demilove. And actually, that might come in to hurt Snoot here. If Demilove does commit to a big attack with kind of Ling Bane Roach, well, Snoot might be in trouble because he has droned up a lot. He started up the Lair and the Evo, now the plus one upgrade. So that's a lot of money he's invested into in terms of, you know, in terms of tech and things that will help him out later in this game. Rather than right now, in terms of defending and attack, more roaches and lings on the way. Demi Love looks to be done with droning at 41 drones. He looks to be getting ready to be aggressive, honestly, as he continues to make units. And again, no sign of any further attack for him. So Snoot has to start making sure he makes enough units here. We're going to see a little bit of a run by some drones. They have to pull away further into the mineral line to try and get away from these zerglings. A couple of uh, workers taken down already. Roach is going to try and run to deal with that as. Well, Demi Love still just sat over this side of the map, isn't making any progress down to the south or anything just yet. Just sat here, waiting to see what's next. See, a couple more Zerglings getting picked up. And these Roaches of Snoot still moving around to see where else he can go. Picks off one Zergling, another Zergling here from Demi Love, also going to go down. So a couple of Lings getting taken down, as you see. All these Lings packing together. A lot of bits are starting to morph in right now. I mean, again, we've been talking about Demi Love's potential aggression here for a little while. And this is it, we're starting to see it right now as we see Snoot a little bit of supply block will not help him defend this, of course. And Snoot, all he has to do is hold him for a little while though, and he's going to have plus one missile attack. So, defend this initial attack, and he should be good. Let's see if he's going to be able to make this happen as the Lings, Roaches, and Ravages begin to run on in. First uh, couple of connections onto a few Zerglings there. Going to see Queen pulling back a little bit as well. And if the Ravages start coming down, Lings and Roaches still trying to fire here. A lot of damage getting ready to come in too. Those are about dropping. The Banes that make this kind of awkward, I mean, what are the Banes going to connect on? I mean, they're going to connect on the Roaches, it's actually doing a lot of splash damage here. Snoot trying to make this hold, he does take a, uh, you know, Stormy Supply is getting close, he does take a lead now. So if one missile attack finishes, does he have enough Roaches in the same place? So that's going to be the big addition for him, I think. Trying to just gather his units up together. We see more Roaches coming in from the top side. I mean, the first one will really help out in the Roach on Roach Wars, but also, he's doing with those Zerglings. He's now two-shotting them instead the three-shotting. He has to spend way less time worrying about his uh, you know, cleaning up Zerglings than he did before. The army supplies are still very even, but Demilov seems to have a lot here still. He is starting to lose out in the other rounds, just going down. He loses about 10 workers, still stays in a worker lead. And I think he's going to stabilize here. Demilov made a big round of Zerglings to kind of reinforce across the map with, but Suit already seems to have more than enough. So Demilov now can't really do much, and now he starts up a lair in an Evo chamber himself. But Snoot's already starting the Spire, and the Spire is a great way to get further ahead when you're already ahead in a ZVZ. And so, Snoot's really in a position where he's just going to be able to save up money, spend it on Mutilus, and then Demulus, what's he going to do then? Well, I'm not really too sure. He's been crashing on into this army. You see the uh, Roaches 
Let's just turn and target down the Ravagers, honestly. I think he's just going to be able to do that anyways. In fact, dude has way too much of a death blow. That was one of Chris, pretty powerful. GG, Snoop takes game number one. Finish nose, I just, uh, I was just misreading. <laughs> Alright, we did use up all our coupon codes, though. I think I'll thank you very much for using up the final coupon code of the day. Thank you very much, guys. We did it. We used up the coupon codes. Good job, team. We did it. Alright, to the top left-hand side of the map from OSC Root, it is our green Zerg player, Demi Love. He's going to drop down a 12th pool here. Oh, no. And to the bottom right-hand side, our red Zerg player from Team Liquid. Let's hear if you're cheering on Snoot. So, Demi Love on OSC Root, going for this 12th pool, a lot of aggression coming in early. I wanted the chance to try and talk about OSC Root's new player, Hero. Got signed up for today, but uh, did play last week in the event. Actually lost out to Sue in the uh, semi-finals. But uh, they just picked up Hero, if you didn't know. Isn't that crazy? Hero is now my teammate. What a god. He was uh, in this uh, root chat the, uh, the other night. He's very friendly. Cool guy, it seems. I hope I can meet my Katowice. Would be awesome. Anyways, we uh, kick off into this... Uh, second game and obviously it's all about the 12th pool right now from Demi Love. Eightling is already building he'll pop down to the hatchery now as well. And Snoot has opened gas pool hatch once again so it's a bit of a better opening for Snoot to defend against this incoming uh, aggression. Sorry was this hatch gas pool? It might have been hatch gas. It was hatch gas pool wasn't it? Ugh, I'm blind. How do I think that was gas pool hatch? I have absolutely no idea. Um, I've really got no clue. So Snoot not going to know about this for quite a while as these lings already running around the right side. Um, he's going to know about it now as this overlord does see the Zerglings coming in here. So let's see what Snoot does to defend. Generally a spine crawler towards the main base. Queen, just as many lings as you can. Probably going to have to just leave the hatchery alive and then lose the hatchery on the low ground. So it's kind of an interesting scenario because Danilo will essentially do 300 minerals of damage by killing this hatchery. Snoot will try to get his double queen out. And if he can get the double queen out, that's great. Because it means that it's just an extra little bit of money spent for Snoot. So he can get a bit of extra damage out. Otherwise he's limited when what he can spend by lava and all the rest, so it would be nice to get this queen. I pulled a few drones down to try and fight with the Zerglings here, and he actually gets a pretty good surround, some good engagement here from Snoot initially. Obviously the nice thing is as well, he does have the hatcher on the low ground, so if he wants to start mining with these drones again, he can mine with these drones again, then pull them back to fight when he feels as though he can. And actually Snoot's going to push this back, Snoot just defends just like that for now. Spine pops up out of the main base, will come to the low ground. Demi Love just lost too much to these drones, I guess. Three lings lost. He didn't even lose that much, just Snoot has defended very well. Demi Love has droned up quite heavily behind us. He hasn't continued to pour uh, Zerglings in across now. He's going to be seeing those Zerglings just coming up towards the upper left hand side. So the Lings coming in towards the upper left hand side from Snoot here. We're going to see that spine crawler coming down from Demi Love in the natural expansion. Let's see what happens. Demi Love going to jump up into the. Uh, into the natural, and I mean, actually, Snoot just has so many units here. He doesn't have enough to push through two queens, though, but still, kind of crazy that the Hatch Gas Pool player has ended up being aggressive against the uh, 12 Pool player. Now, Snoot does just cancel Zergling speed, and I imagine what he's going to go for right now, knowing that his opponents have had speed set for so long, is just straight into a Rotoran and an Evo Chamber himself. So he can use the uh, 100 Gas Warp plus one upgrade nice and quickly. And it'll just set him up nicely for the rest of the game into a nice economic position with also a nice set of upgrades and a nice mid-game composition where you know he's not really going to necessarily use, use the Zerglings so much in this game now. So he's just not going to bother investing into Link Street because it's just going to be 100 gas he doesn't get value out of. So he's just going to be uh, going straight into the Roaches now. Demi Love doing the same, but he is much further behind in his third hatchery. So that's going to be the one advantage of Snoot here as uh, Demi Love is going to be able to start his plus one very shortly. He actually starts his Link Speed as well. I mean, Snoot might also start Link Speed very soon. Actually, going to be a melee upgrade for Demi Love. That's a bit interesting. Um, I was going to say that maybe Snoot does start Link Speed in a little while and just kind of, you know, if he still wants to use the Lings as part of his composition a bit later on, which is something we actually see quite a lot. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes as we do see just the uh, Queen and a few Zerglings moving around as well. Seeing what else they uh, might be able to get in terms of defense. I mean, honestly, this is just interesting for Demi Love because it's completely different from what you might have expected. With that Rotron coming in there, plus one melee attack, be very committed to these Zerglings. Now, Snoot is already making a lot of roaches, and for Snoot, this is really about just defending in all the right places. You know, don't get caught in the middle of the map, in the middle of nowhere, with roaches against Lings. You know, that's the worst thing you could do. 
But if he sits back at home, I mean, Gen General Echo is a good map to defend on, because you don't have very far to go to defend your third base. You don't really have to move out into very many open areas. You can pretty much always keep your back against the wall with those roaches to minimize the surface area on them and to help them trade a bit better against the Zergans. They're going to start running through the center of the map now. Snoot will see these, so he'll know about the kind of mass of Zerglings coming his way. He'll move his roaches down onto the ramp. Still surroundable here. Not got any... Uh, there we go. Pulling them to the side. So you can see that Snoot just wants to kind of keep them somewhere where they're going to be able to be not quite fully surrounded at any point. You're going to see... Well, he's laying this... Doing quite a bit down to the hatchery. Daniel was just going to die for this third base. I mean, he's going to get the kill in the third hatchery, but how many Lings is he going to lose in the process? Well, he does just leave instantly straight away at the same time, but actually Snoot also kills off the third hatchery of his opponent. So, both players taking a heavy hit here, but it's going to even things out, and generally I think going to be beneficial for Snoot. He now stops moving across the map, plus one missile is about to finish. And the problem is with these Zerglings, like, yes, they might do a bit more damage with that melee now, but they're not going to survive very long against the plus one missile Roach, as we talked about it last game. Plus one roaches are going to two-shot Lings. These Lings are going to be disappearing very quickly now. Penny Love dropping down the Spire with his lair. So only just starting his lair here. It's about halfway done. Don't think any of that's going to matter because I think this uh, game is just about to end right here. GG is the Snoot takes game number two.